Manfred Richthofen, better known as the Red Baron, was Germany's greatest fighter pilot and ace during World War I. In Germany, he was regarded as a national hero and respected by his enemies. Richthofen's fame grew with each new victory, eventually becoming the most famous and feared pilot of the war. Richthofen was born on May 2, 1892, in Kleinberg, Breslau, in what is today Rotswaff, Poland, into a prominent Prussian aristocratic family. His father was a military officer with an aristocratic position in Prussia. Manfred had two younger brothers and an older sister. He and his younger brother Lothar followed their father into military careers. Lothar was also a World War I flying ace who died in a flying accident after the war in 1922 at the age of 27. Manfred spent his youth participating in athletic activities. He was passionate about horseback riding, hunting, gymnastics and other sports. Manfred's athleticism would come handy later in his military career. He enrolled in a military school at the age of 11 and joined the Prussian army as a cavalryman in 1912. By the start of World War I, he was doing horseback reconnaissance. Manfred decided to join the German Army Air Service in the spring of 1915 when trench warfare on the European battlefield rendered horseback fighting ineffective. By the fall of 1916, he had progressed from reconnaissance to fighter pilot. In his early days as a fighter pilot, Richthofen flew alongside German ace Oswald Belker. Oswald, who is considered the father of air combat, became his mentor and taught him the dogfighting doctrine known as the Dichter Belker. Unfortunately, on October 28, 1916, Oswald was killed in mid-air collision with a friendly aircraft. However, Bolker's teachings left an impact on young Manfred, who went on to conquer the skies of the First World War, using a set of simple dogfighting rules he learned from Bolker. In 1917, after his 16th confirmed kill, Richthofen received the highest military honor in Germany at the time, informally known as the Blue Max. In two and a half years, the young Prussian aristocrat amassed an incredible 80 official air combat victories, and possibly as many as 100 if unofficial victories are counted, more than any other flying ace of the First World War. He quickly distinguished himself as a fighter pilot and became a leader of a large fighter wing, Yasta 11, better known as Richthofen's Flying Circus, because of the bright colors of their aircrafts and their mobility on the battlefield. Manfred won most of his victories with the Albatross planes, but he is best known for his Red Fokker triplane, which he only acquired in late July 1917. Only 19 of his 80 kills came from this type of plane. He marked each kill with a silver cup, engraved with the date and type of enemy aircraft. By the time of his 60th triumph, silver had become scarce in war-torn Germany, forcing him to abandon the ritual. He may have had 61 or 62 in total. On the fateful day of the 21st of April 1918, Manfred von Richthofen met his end when an enemy bullet punctured his lung during aerial combat above the Somme in northern France. Historians are still debating whether the shot was fired by a pursuing enemy aircraft or by ground fire. Richthofen, who was critically injured, managed to crash land his famous Red Fokker plane on a field where it was captured by nearby Australian troops. He was discovered dead in his cockpit the plane was quickly taken apart by souvenir hunters, with many pieces ending up in museum displays all over the world. Many believe that brain damage from the head wound he received in July 1917, along with cumulative combat stress, caused him to disregard some of the precautions that made him invincible in the sky, resulting in poor judgment during his final combat. His enemies paid great respect to the fallen Red Baron, giving him a full military funeral in northern France. Memorial wreaths were presented by Allied squadrons stationed nearby, one of which was inscribed with the words, To our gallant and worthy foe. The Red Baron's body was reinterred several times, first in Berlin in 1925 and then in 1975 at the Richthofen family grave plot in Weisbaden, Western Germany. The legendary Red Baron, Manfred von Richthofen, 
remains one of the most well-known fighter pilots of all time, and has been a subject of numerous books, films, and other forms of media. Richthofen himself became a best-selling author in 1917 with his own autobiographical book titled The Red Battle Flyer, which he wrote whilst recovering in hospital from a head wound. The book was heavily censored and edited by the propaganda section of the Air Force. Richthofen later condemned the book, calling it too insolent. He died before a revised version could be completed 